I've said it once and I'll say it again. Do you look like Ronald McDonald whenever you put shoes on and skinny jeans? Do you look like a praying mantis every time you step out the door? Are you tall and skinny like me? Then look no further, I'm here to help. A lot of people think that because we're tall and skinny and we have model bodies that ooh, everything's made to our size. No, no. You put on an extra small because that's what your waist needs and you look crazy because they're way too short on you and you look like a child who doesn't know how to dress themselves. Oh, you decide to go for a larger size so that it fits your long ass leg? Hmm, looks like you're gonna have to get it tailored because it doesn't fit your waist. I'm here to help with some suggestions, some tips, and some outfit ideas for people like me People like you, tall and skinny bitches. Okay, so I am gonna give you guys some outfit ideas. I'm gonna show you guys some fits that I put together that are good for the winter time. I've done a summertime version of this video, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you click it. It's like a spring, summer edition. I have not done a fall or winter version until today. So in this video, you're gonna see some outfits that will work for fall and winter. All you gotta do is put the jacket on or take it off depending on the season. But before we get into that, I'm gonna give you guys some of my style tips and some hacks that I have for you guys so that you can look good and you can own your body type and you can feel sexy in it. But anyways, let's get into some style tips that I wanna share with you guys. Okay, the first tip is for our body types, we will need either a tiny top and big bottom or a big top and tiny bottom. What does this mean? So this means maybe a skin tight crop top with some baggy jeans. Why? Because it will show off your waist, but then the baggy jeans will kind of add a little more figure that's there. So you won't look too tomboyish, but you won't look too girly. The two just go together and it leaves enough up to the imagination by covering some parts up being baggy, you know what I mean? Maybe your thighs aren't thick at all, but because you're wearing baggy jeans, it kind of gives you that figure. But if you do the baggy top, small bottom, you show off some other parts of your body, but you hide, you know, maybe your skinny waist that you're not happy with, or maybe your scrawny arms, you know? So yeah, tiny top, big bottom, big top, tiny bottom combo always works with our body types, I promise you. All right, the next tip I have for you guys is that if you are wearing pants, which I hope you are, if you're not, that's up to you, that's your business. <sighs> Cargo flare boot cut only. Okay, okay, maybe not only but let's let's avoid skinny jeans. Okay We can wear them and I'll give you a tip on how you can wear them after but for the most part day to day Please, please, please dear God. Just just wear some some baggy bottoms. Okay, so these ones here I have a video where I try these on. I'll try to insert a clip They're tight around my whole body and then they start to flare off towards the calves and the bottom is extremely wide So freaking cute. They make me look like I have an ass but they don't expose my skinny, skinny legs and my skinny ankles. Again, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just prefer to not have them on display all the time because it just, I have big feet, okay? My feet are, are big and I don't want to always have to look like I'm Ronald McDonald. For reference, if you want to know my body type, I am 5'8". I am about 122 to 127 pounds, depending on the day. My boobs are 34B. My hips are like, I think, 33 inches. Um, I got long, long, skinny legs, big feet, <laughs> nine and a half, ten, and I got long arms as well. So yeah, if you're wondering, maybe that will help you shop, or I don't know if we have the same body, so. Skinny jeans. I think skinny jeans can look great if you're wearing them with a thigh-high boot or like ankle boots. I think if you're wearing skinny jeans and sneakers, it looks horrible, horrible, unless you have tiny feet. With our body types, we usually have bigger feet, and I just feel like, why would you wear skinny jeans and sneakers? So skinny jeans, I do wear them sometimes, because sometimes I wanna be a little more dressed up, so I'll pair them with a thigh-high boot, or some nice ankle boots, and I think it looks great. Heels look good with skinny jeans. Dainty shoes look good with skinny jeans. Sneakers do not look good with skinny jeans. I don't even think Doc Martens look good with skinny jeans. My next tip is wear lots of layers to add dimension to your outfits. It makes you look a little bit thicker if that's what you want. It also takes away from the fact that you are extremely skinny. I cannot emphasize this enough. I don't think there's anything wrong with being extremely skinny, but I do like to look like I have a little bit of curve and I feel like layers kind of help with that. So I like to wear a few layers. My last tip is embrace your height. Don't hide it. Don't slouch and make yourself look shorter. Don't do any of that. Embrace it, stand up tall, look taller than you are and 
just own that shit because height is so sexy if you come in my comments tell me you're 5'10 i will be jealous of you all right let's get into the outfits okay so these are some examples of outfits that i have worn and i think that you should try to maybe recreate them create your own version of them shop for similar items so that you can step out feeling confident and sexy and owning your height so the first outfit i have here is a classic winter fit i have some flare jeans on the jeans that i have on are these ones i thrifted them so unfortunately i don't know where you can find them but they're such cute jeans they fit me like a glove and they are jacob annex brand 1999 damn that's crazy yeah i got these at value village absolutely love them i think a pair of jeans like that is a staple piece that every tall and skinny girl should have in their wardrobe i paired it with a turtleneck also thrifted and i like the turtleneck because it adds length to my neck it makes me look like a long gazelle it makes me look beautiful elegant and i put just a classic jacket over it this is like thrifted costa blanca i believe i think long jackets look great on us because i feel like it makes our legs look longer it makes us look just like elegant for some reason long jackets are made for tall women i think it looks great on shorter people too but i just feel like they're made for us i like a jacket that's cut above the knee so that it's long but it's not too too long where we just look like we're drowning in a jacket i think that's the perfect length because it still shows off our long legs but it also you know gives us a girly warm vibe i paired this with some sneakers because i feel like you can wear sneakers with flare jeans just not skinny jeans so i put some sneakers with this and i wore this out so in the next outfit you'll see i do have an oversized sweater on i got this one at valley village as well and this sweater goes like around my thighs mid thigh and i think it looks really great when i wear it with a crop jacket because it kind of adds some length to my figure which makes me still have that same effect that i had with the long coat so the long sweater helps accentuate my figure in a way makes my legs look long but then the short jacket kind of adds a little bit of to my waist in a way i don't know if i'm tripping maybe i made that up but i feel like it makes me look a little more snatched and i love that and then i wore that with my favorite pair of black urban outfitters jeans they're some flare jeans that I've shown in the last haul and they're form-fitted. They're a very similar fit to these jeans, um, just a little bit longer because the waist is higher up. So in this outfit, you can't tell that they're high-waisted, but they are, and they look really great with almost anything I wear. I can wear with a hoodie, crop top, bralette, oversized sweater, anything looks good with these jeans. I wore this outfit with Uggs because the Uggs match my jacket perfectly. I can't normally wear these Uggs. Um, these are the ones that go up like higher than the ankle. You know how there's like the tall Uggs, the medium Uggs, and the super short ones? These are the tall ones. These Uggs look terrible on me. I didn't adjust them properly, so you can kind of see them poking out the jeans, but they did look really good, and the color matched the jacket perfectly, so it kind of tied the whole outfit together. Okay, this next outfit, I'm wearing baggy jeans. I don't have the denim with me right now, but the Urban Outfitters denim, BDG. I really love BDG brand because they usually fit my long ass legs. A lot of denim does not fit me because of my size i try and go for like a size 24 26 and they don't fit my legs they're too short so if you're looking for denim bdg is a great brand valley village also has great ones this pair right here is pretty similar but they're not high-waisted they're calvin klein really baggy denim and they're just a regular low-rise denim so anyways the urban outfitters jeans that i'm wearing in this clip here those i paired with like a cute sweater it's kind of like a schoolgirl type of vibe a cardigan vibe it's just like a v-neck sweater i think v-necks look really good because they show off my collarbone if you have a similar shape as i do you probably have really prominent collarbones because you're probably skinny up here when i'm wearing like a strapless dress i just love the way my collarbones look and i put highlighter on them to accentuate them and i think it looks great so just put a regular jacket over top i got the jacket at winners it's a corduroy um beige coat you can probably find it like marshall's or something very cute and then i wear some cute little earmuffs with it that i got in chinatown for three dollars okay this is my going out outfit i love this one because it's very creative and cute these are tights that i'm wearing i don't wear tights often because they're so uncomfortable i wear tights but i don't wear leggings just to clarify tights i like in the winter or in the fall because a they make your legs warmer b they make shit look edgier you know so in this outfit i'm wearing a v-neck form-fitted long sleeve top that is from i think forever 21 with a skirt that i got at valley village that's what i wore and then i wore this like knitted cardigan like long vest i don't know what it is i got it at valley village and i wore that over top with a big oversized jacket i love oversized jackets on our bodies the reason we can pull it off is because we are tall okay i find that oversized jackets don't work as well on shorter people because they kind of look like they're drowning in the jacket if they don't get the right size with us it just looks like it's meant to be baggy because the length of it doesn't matter because we're tall so 
Oversized jackets are your best friends. I love them. That's why this one looks great on me, but my shorter friend does not look good on her. Even though she's thicker than me, it technically fits her better. It just looks too big and too puffy on her because she's tiny. Same vibe with skinny jeans. Do not wear sneakers with tights and skinny jeans and leggings. Do not do that. So I wore some Steve Madden ankle boots that I got at Urban Outfitters. Next one, everything here is thrifted. I'm sorry, my friends. These jeans, if you can find a pair of jeans like this, oh my God. These are high-waisted jeans. They're corduroy, they're striped. I think the stripes really make our figures look great. The bottom is like a boot cut kind of vibe. They scrunch at the bottom. And if you're tall and skinny, you know it is so hard to find jeans that have that little scrunch or slouch at the bottom. It's usually fitting just perfectly. So whenever it has that, I love it. These are the kind of pants that even though they're not flare, you can wear these with sneakers. You can wear them with Doc Martens. You can wear them with any shoe, really. And it looks great. I found these at the thrift store. The brand is completely unknown. There are no tie. Oh, Denim Express. I don't know, every tag on here looks old as shit, so I don't think you're gonna be able to find them, but I mean, if you can find a pair of striped corduroy high-waisted slouchy pants somewhere, I know it's very specific, but very cute. In this outfit, I just paired it with an oversized sweater that I also got at the thrift store, side bag. I like side bags a lot with my outfits. I also like tucking things in. I feel like when I tuck things in, I'm able to show my hips a little more, my small little hips, but it shows them a little more, which is nice. So yeah, I tuck a lot of things in, usually wear belts, um, and then I paired this with some Doc Martens, which was a really cute look. Then because it's winter, of course, I put a jacket on and I did the same thing with the other outfit where I put on like a crop jacket and let the sweater hang over a bit to give myself those layers and extra added dimension, which is really cool. This next outfit is one of my favorites. Okay, so I wear the same long sleeve uh, Forever 21 top flare skirt and tights combo as I did with the other outfit, but I changed it up in this one to make it a little less edgy. So instead of the cardigan and the jacket I decided to put like a girlier beige knitted cardigan with it and then I buttoned it up and left the top piece open because it kind of shows a little more of my chest my collarbones things like that and then I kind of slouched the bottom of the cardigan to hover like over my bum I guess you could say and that kind of gave me more um, of that figure that I keep <laughs> referencing um, I wore that with same flare skirt so it kind of peeked out under the cardigan which was really cute and then I put it with a side bag and it just looked really creative artistic and it was cool this is like my like gallery night outfit or something so I love this outfit a lot I feel like it just I don't know it makes my legs look super long and elegant which I love and I wore this with the same Steve Madden boots because I just feel like that was probably the best look this outfit would also look good with Doc Martens I know I talk shit about Doc Martens and skinny jeans but I feel like with tights it does look good um, this outfit would look good with most shoes except sneakers and then with this one instead of the oversized jacket I went for the crop Zara jacket um, just to give some more dimension and layers again lastly if you want just a comfy outfit this one is basic but I just feel like it looks good on us I don't know why for some reason I think because we're so tall that sweatpants don't really like slouch and get baggy on us they're more stretched out less wrinkled and I don't know sweatpants look kind of good on us so I just went with a um, two-piece champion tracksuit and um, wore that tucked my socks into the bottom and wore some sneakers with it I don't know why but it looks good uh, I just make sure that my socks match of course which I didn't used to do then with this I just popped a trench coat over it some gold jewelry to make it look a little more classy this is like an airport outfit running errands grocery shopping outfit like obviously you're not gonna go do a freaking interview with this outfit but this is like a good hanging out with friends going to a coffee shop for seven hours to do your assignments and you look comfy you look cute you feel cozy and when you get home you don't really have to change you just gotta take your jacket off so those are the outfits now I just want to get into some more tips on how you can find the right clothing for you tip number one thrift 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 I find that older clothing was designed better the quality is better the stitching is better and the sizes are more inclusive I always have an easy time finding denim at the thrift store that's why every time I do these videos half my shit is thrifted because that's what fits me best men's section honestly the best because everything's longer because men are usually taller except the ones in Toronto apparently but yeah everything there is a little longer which is really nice so you can find denim that will actually like fit your legs which is really cool follow people that have your body type on Instagram if you want to follow me you can I have two Instagrams the amateur guru and Ash Flores TV most of my outfits are on 
both. I don't know. Check them out. See what resonates with you. Follow. If you follow people that have the same body as you, you will get so many ideas on how you can style your own clothing. You can literally just favorite their outfits and try and recreate it from your own clothing because that's what I used to do. I used to follow this girl with the same body and I would look at her outfits and I'd be like, oh, I have that in a different color. I can try that outfit. And it really, really helps. And then by following them, you can see a lot of pieces that they wear and they tag the pieces and then just go on Depop and look it up. Like if you see like, Black Urban Outfitters flare jeans, the ones that I wear. Go on Depop, look it up. I'm sure you can find it secondhand. There's so much on the internet. Follow creators that have your body type and just recreate their looks until you find your own personal style. Zara, Urban Outfitters, and Walmart men's section are really good for finding pants that fit us. The quality of Zara is not the best in my opinion. You just gotta take care of your denim. Urban Outfitters, you can't put your shit in the dryer or else it will shrink and you'll never be able to wear them again. Walmart, I mean, we all know Walmart quality. Um, I don't know, I've had the best luck. If I wanna buy new items that fit me, the BDG, Urban Outfitters, Denim, and Zara usually come through. Walmart is hit or miss because sometimes the sizes run too big, but I suggest going through the men's section. My next tip is either change or accept your body. If you don't like that you're tall and skinny, go work out, run on the treadmill, go on power walks, build those thighs up, make them a little thicker, you know what I mean? Start playing soccer, build up those calves. I don't know, do what you gotta do to change your body to your liking or what I've done, accept it. I love my body now, I love it and I think you should love your body too. I think, you know, if you wanna change your body, that's okay, but you can't sit around and hate your body and be like, oh, I'm so skinny, I'm so scrawny, I'm this and that. No, it's not, it's not going anywhere there. I either change it or accept it, it's one or the other. My next tip, I've already mentioned, never wear skinny jeans with sneakers. Unless you got tiny feet, then you get a pass. But if you got big feet, don't do it. High-waisted is your best friend. It makes you look like you have hips, an ass, thighs, everything. High-waisted is your best friend. Low-rise looks great on us too. It looks really good on us. But high-waisted, it just does something. If you're trying to look curvier, if you're trying to make your body pop, high-waisted. Tuck in your clothing. Tuck your shirts in, tuck your pants in, tuck, tuck everything in. I'm not saying fully tuck it in like you're going to a business meeting, but like maybe tuck in the little side and let a little bit hang down to like kind of give yourself some um, hips, you know, some thighs. I find that, for example, when I tuck in my t-shirts into my biker shorts, it makes me look like I have body and it's nice. So I suggest tucking things in until it looks good and it feels right. Buy cinched clothing. So that might mean a, a dress that cinches at the waist, at the sides, in the front there's a tie because that gives like this asymmetrical look that kind of gives you more than what you have lastly i just wanted to tell you the things that i struggled with with my body before um just so that you can know that like it's normal what you're feeling if you don't feel good about your body type i used to be very insecure about my big feet and my skinny ankles i always thought that i look like a clown honestly i did look like a clown but it's because i was buying shoes that were way too big and wide and i was wearing skinny jeans like i wasn't pairing them properly you know like so I used to struggle with that. I used to really hate my legs because they were so skinny. People used to call me anorexic. I used to hate the fact that I had like small boobs. I love having small boobs now. I don't have back problems, you know. Sometimes, yeah, I wish that I could fill out my dresses a little more, but that's okay because honestly, most clothing, it's made for us. So when it comes to tops, sorry, tops and dresses, it's made for us. Um, we can't really wear rompers, I've noticed, which sucks. Um, we can't really wear certain dresses because they're too short, but when it comes to like tops and stuff, it's usually made for us. So to have small boobs is totally fine because a lot of girls, their boobs are too big to fit into certain tops and that's their struggle. I used to hate that I had no hips. I still don't really have hips. My hips are like, my body's kind of like this and then like a little, it's like really, I'm really petite and I don't mind. I used to really not like that, but it's okay. Not everybody needs hips, okay? One day, I mean, if you're looking to have a child, You'll have a kid and you will get hips, so why don't you just give it a couple years? But yeah, that concludes the video. I wanted to leave you with a reminder that tall is sexy, so own it, okay? Own it. Your kids are gonna be tall. You can find a nice tall man or woman that you're interested in. And honestly, I just, I don't see anything wrong with being tall. I think it is a strength. I think it's beautiful. I think we look like elegant giraffes and I love it. So yeah, I just wanted to remind you that tall is sexy. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got some inspiration out of this video on how you can dress for your body. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any tips or suggestions for other people that, you know, all the people in the comments that might have the same body type as us, feel free to leave them down below. And yeah, I will try to do a summertime version of this. I already have a spring one up. I'll try to do a summertime one when the time comes. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.